another ride along with goggles and uh, today we're in Kalispell again and not sure but, oh I guess oh little Chrysler almost hit us <laughs> granny out doing some shopping so uh, yeah we got the Viper 389 here and pink is uh, which trailer is this it's just one of his Kozads and uh, yeah, this is the one with the steering rear truck on it, so it's pretty cool. Uh, we got a 152,000 pound Cat 672, I think it is. 672R scraper on there. Oh, it says mud on it. It's supposed to be a, uh, whatever. It's what they do, I guess. Don't want to get caught with a copyright infringement, I guess. Uh, anyway, so um, yeah, we're heading down to Butte, so it should be a nice little run. This trip from Kalispell south is pretty nice, and I don't know how often we've done it on a video. Not very often, so let's remedy that. And, uh, yeah, good times. Let's, uh, oh, parking brakes. Nope. Get going here. So I got my big uh, DD60 in here. I'll show you what's kind of fun about this trailer. We're going to go right around all this stuff like like we're agile and know what we're doing here. This is that rear thing, uh, the rear truck steering. It's pretty cool. Big thing you got to watch for is catching something in the center, but like, I mean, look at this. How easy is that? Pretty nice. It's a little wobbly that load. I guess, I guess it would be. We came up through here the other day, I think. I must be losing it. Maybe we did. We came the other way. Now we're just going to go south. Hmm. Not too much going on right now. <laughs> I'm all over the map. Yeah, so it's my, uh, like I say, my big dog uh, DD60. So this one's in that open def I put up on the Discord channel. So uh, it's the 1,005 horsepower unit. And it gets her done. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Yeah, so corners like this, you just got to watch. You're not going right. to drag the... Uh, trailer over anything on the inside of the turn but it's pretty good usually like look at that it's just it's magic go straight go straight uh oh oh we're gonna run it sorry guys yikes well we got ourselves into the intersection before it changed so i don't know I guess you're supposed to be in it when it turns yellow. I guess that argument wouldn't fly with the Keep left. with After the officers. Yards, turn left. Turn left. These cops are still uh, talking about the night before. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I'm telling you, he was right there. He was right. Uh, that's cool. Oh, I forgot to mention. I put the... Uh, oh, boy. When I was doing the cast add-on tutorial thing, I mentioned the Viper... 360 final drive transmission and how I used to put it in everything 
Well, I have it in the Viper today. <laughs> it's, yeah, I haven't driven this transmission in forever, and I thought, well, heavy haul. Uh, you know, we won't be using the... Uh, it's not extreme heavy haul, so I wouldn't be using the uh, 336s or 355, so it's the 360. It comes with the Viper by default, so if you don't have a transmission mod, this is the transmission to use, or like in my view. It's a transmission I like in the Viper if, uh, if I'm not going to use the real Eaton. So, yeah, I thought I'd give it a whirl. I shouldn't swing too wide here because the, the rear steers so well. You can steer yourself into trouble with it. Right there, that went pretty nicely. Yeah, if you want to look like a hero in town, this is your trailer. 90 degree pro corners, no problem. Go straight. Like I mentioned before in videos I've done with this trailer that this back portion of this rear truck, it steers and when it steers it pivots the whole truck so and that's what makes it able to do the really neat maneuvering. Hold on there Smokey. Put a dent in that old Parisian. Go straight. Uh, we're not going to get up there. I wonder if the car will slow down. Oh. Oh, we're going to do the light <laughs> again. Now watch how this thing follows around here. I'll see how far away I can get. So you can kind of get a handle on it. Oh, that's a pretty tippy load. Watch the trailer. I'm not doing a very good job of driving, though, from way back here. But look at this. Oops. Can I keep that truck on the lane? But this trailer is... Uh-oh. I didn't give you a very good look at it there. I guess I couldn't find a good angle where I could still drive the truck. <laughs> but anyway, it's pretty neat. I'm really going to have to drive this thing from inside when we get in the twisties. Because this wobbling around stuff will cause me to lose my marbles. should actually do is take a quick peek at my uh, trailer stability in this profile. I may have it stiffened up, who knows. Let's have a quick look at it. I'll just go to game preferences. It's straight up, okay. It's, uh, I did increase it, it's just the nature of the load. Oh boy. Okay, see the other day we were in the um, uh, the Project 3XX from uh, HFG and it had the same dashboard in it but if you look uh, just under the left side of the steering wheel that gauge to the left of the tack the needle swinging around that red needle that's acting like a manifold pressure gauge, not a barometer, which is what it says it is in the gauge. And uh, that was one thing I noted. Yeah, it was kind of cool on that uh, HFG truck. Didn't have it swinging all around like this. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's sort of a bummer. But that's what it is. One thing about this trailer kind of annoys me is when you paint it, the uh, the Jeep at the front will paint the color of your truck. It it's only will take a metallic paint and it'll paint the color of your truck. That's just fine. But then the rear trailer is washed out and too light. So I instead of painting the trailer the color of the truck, I made the trailer a much darker blue which you can see on the uh, Jeep is darker blue, but the majority of the trailer more closely resembles the truck. Uh, that's just strange. I don't know why it does that. So, Mr. Pinga, if you're watching, inquiring minds need to know. What's up with that? Oh. So our uh, good friend uh, Recon Lobster's got a treat in store coming up. Another uh, one of his expansion Dealey Barbers is coming, so I just a heads up that he uh, we haven't lost him. He's out there. He's doing stuff, working hard. And uh, oh, come on, get in gear. Oh, that's a failure. So anyway, yeah, he's hard at it, and uh, I think you guys are going to like what he's got going on this time. A whole nother industry. And, uh, yeah, going to be good. I should have checked to see if the uh, excuse me. I should have checked to see if this load was urgent or not. Because if it is, I'm not doing a very good job. But yeah, this is a nice section of road here. There's the airport right there that that plane's flying out of. That's cool. What if they have them doing touch and goes? Now, I gotta stop here one of these days and see what the attraction is to Paulson. There's a viewport viewpoint there. Oh, right now. oh I should get a screenshot, eh? I have an idea. You guys have probably noticed After 50 yards, go straight. that the last few videos <laughs> that have had uh, low boy or flat decks have had empty trailers in the thumbnail. Go straight. Oh man, I gotta reacquaint myself with this transmission. I think I'm. Uh, it's a different spacing to the gears. It's got a uh, taut. Taller first gear. Yards, go straight. And uh go straight. Hey, the gears are closer together. Not as much RPM drop. Not sure. It's a twelve something first gear instead of the fourteen forties that I've been driving or fourteen twenties. Fourteen forties I think. That guy's giving sightseeing tours. That's what he's doing. In that airplane? Oh yeah, so the uh, Big Sky skin 
is on here. I got it. Oh, somebody was asking me to. Uh, that's another thing on the to-do list is make a trailer, big sky trailer skin. Well, I shouldn't be too difficult, but the downside is I'll go all all out and I'll make a SCS trailer set skin. So that'll be the 2832, uh, 45, 48, and 53. And by doing all of them, um, you can have any combination from, uh, excuse me, B doubles, Rocky Mountain doubles, uh, Turnpike double. That's kind of nice to have the choice. Really laving up this hill. Come on, old girl. Fortunately, my tablet here doesn't tell me if the load's urgent or not. I should try one of the other screens. What does this one say? Well, it doesn't say if it's urgent or not. I like the other, I'm kind of used to the other screen. It's kind of low key. Oh. And. I tell me old Studebaker there, whatever he had. Old Studebaker Lark or something. What was that? Street. Or Valiant. Maybe that was the Valiant. Yeah, I kind of like this sort of... There's a fair bit of information on there, but it's not in your face. and you got to kind of look for it. And I generally just look at it for time remaining, distance remaining kind of stuff I want to know. Okay. 55. Let's see here. Oh, what's that? See, this is, I get so paranoid with these big loads. Oh, I miss that gear again. Not doing a good job today, guys. I'm sorry. What I should do. I should probably just get in the truck and... It not let that uh, wobbling around of the load distract me. I think you got to go pretty, pretty hard at it. Well, to tip a truck over, but I just find when I'm outside the cab and I see that thing wallowing around, I kind of lose track of what I'm doing and. Stare at it and tear. <laughs> oh, we got a big ramp coming up here. After 50 yards, exit right ahead. This is the kind of thing where this trailer is really good, so probably gonna take us outside again so try and find an angle where I can give you a view of it let's see if I can go slow enough to do this without doing something stupid but you can see I'm not really going to the uh, the right as we're looking at towards that yellow line I'm not hugging it or getting outside it or anything and that rear, the trailer, the rear, we're not having to worry about it at all. Actually, what I should do, have a look at the front. <laughs> yeah, we're coming. Oh. I'm just trying to get a good angle on this so I can show you that I don't need to be driving way out in the left like that. Amazing trailer. Be kind of cool to drive one in real life. Oh, I, I meant to mention, I forgot all about this, I think, in the last video to tell you guys. I watched a video the other day on YouTube, and they were moving 
uh, it was a 740,000 pound transformer and they were using a Trail King 360. That was so cool. And they were talking to the guys that were, and it had a pusher truck as well, so pull and push. And um, they're talking to the guys that were up on the platforms at each end of the truck or trailer and they were explaining what they did and I didn't realize not having the option in the game but the actual truck the uh, um, all the wheels in the trailer will move out hydraulically and come back in so while they're moving you couldn't do it while it stopped obviously but while it's moving they can move the wheels out when they get on a situation like we're in right now They'd be moved. They'd have the wheels moved out to give themselves some stability, which uh, they wouldn't be watching their trailer, their load wobble all over like I am here, <laughs> where we are. But yeah, it was really neat and uh, to uh, hear them all, all the different people involved. You know, the guy who drove the lead truck, the guys driving the back truck, the operators, the folks on the ground, and. Unlike in the game, they're putzing along at a very sedate pace, and they have people on the ground. Um, anytime they get to uh, any kind of intersection or anything where they're going to interface with the public a little bit, the people hop out of their support vehicles and they're on foot, running all up and down and around and keeping an eye on everything, and everybody's communicating. It's pretty cool. Unlike us, we just go 80 miles an hour down the freeway with no pilot cars <laughs> and a massive load. But it was really neat to see that trailer actually do its thing. So that was pretty neat. to hold up up here. that guy. It was really neat the other day I was doing a, uh, uh, a rare on my own trip and just for fun and uh, I was driving along uh, I think I can't remember where that was it was uh, between Kalispell and Sandpoint somewhere and there road went along the railway track and for oh I don't know a good two or three minutes of driving in the game I was actually driving beside the train it was really neat not a very pretty heavy load on things 70 some odd thousand and uh, not as big an engine and there was times he'd be pulling on me and then I'd be getting an advantage on him and there was a little sort of town like a crossing sort of thing and we kind of just slightly diverged and came back together. And not long after that, uh, my road went right and his went left. And never the twain shall meet. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's very cool, actually. It was the first time they've been playing the game that uh, I had that extended a run beside a train. It was really neat. Just when you think you've seen it all, guys, something new happens. And it's all about coincidence and timing. And South Idaho Falls. I don't think that's going to be us. Oh, we want to go to Butte straight on. Oh, man. 
right in the face with that sign. Another one. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we got about 30 miles to go here. We haven't got a hurry up warning yet, so I'm pretty relieved about that. Because we've, uh, there hasn't been a whole lot of, a whole lot of this trip that we've, uh, been going the speed limit. Yeah, the next time I do a load with that TK360, which uh, will probably be another month or so, I will try and remember to find a link to the actual thing in action. As it's, or if you want to just go Google it. I downside is it wasn't. I don't even think TK360 was. After 50 uh oh. Yards. Do I have to get in the left lane? I do. Exit left. So, yeah, I can't remember what the... Uh, I was just looking around. I, did, I watch a lot of stuff to do with tracking it on YouTube. And uh, it just happened to be, you know, they throw stuff up like with their algorithm based on what you've been looking at and I recognized the image of the trailer in the thumbnail for YouTube and thought wow I gotta check this out and the name of the trailer wasn't in the description Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. okay gonna back up yep scared him out of there with that guys I just had a great big sneeze <laughs> wow Whew, it's one of those good ones came out of nowhere Let's see if we can take off in third gear here oh yeah piece of cake oh we're gonna get to be the downtown hero here we are driving downtown with this thing. Wow, you gotta see this. This is this would be cool. Go straight. I'll see how we do. We're gonna have to watch for parked cars, so I guess. Keep right. After 15 yards, turn right. We're gonna take a little lane here from these guys anyway. Turn right. Yeah, this is good. Trucker Cola, refreshing Trucker Cola. Look at that sign. So this should be no problem here, really. I don't think we're gonna, we shouldn't hit anything. How about that? That's just easy peasy. After 100 yards, turn left. Hey, you wouldn't be doing that that easy with um, like uh, we gotta stop here with without um, like four lanes to maneuver in in any other situation but this trailer is and that was a right hand turn single lane to single lane with a car in the oncoming lane we were turning into there and look how much room we cleared there extra Amazing. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. I will see how we do in the offloading, though. So we only got to go about here. That's going to be tons to clear this. Yeah, look at that. It's a thing of beauty. This is kind of a tight little yard here, so. Let's 
see how we do. Oh, it'll be a parking up beside that pile of gravel, so. You have reached your destination. All right. It should be pretty straightforward if I don't muck it up. Just got to remember that rear end is going to steer to the right when we turn left. The, that back end is going to be going to our right, so kind of not get too carried away on how much you're trying to get it out there. Let's see if I got it right here or not. That should be pretty good. I'll see. Whoops. I'm steering the wrong way. I'm doing the radio control plane thing again. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Yes, you see that? It's just that easy. Awesome. Well. So, oh, I didn't, um, did I mention it in the last video or did I just do it today? I can't even remember. I, um, I added, uh, put this Vipers on the Discord channel now. We've got a link to my, um, Google Drive and you can download it. And this is a version I keep, uh, and I renamed the file, so it's just Viper 389. And so Steam won't update it. And you won't get corrupted with that crazy one they have on Steam that's a mess. And um, so you can download it from the Google Drive. And I got to put up two links yet there for the accessory pack and a Sissel's compatibility, um, which are Steam mods. And uh, I'll put that there. And then I have I started an open def channel on the Discord where and the first thing I put up there, if it's going to be Zmod open defs, actually. And I put the open def for this DD60 on there, my version of it with a couple of hot rod motors and um, engines, I should say. And um, yes, yeah, so that's all on the Discord. So look for the uh, Discord symbol on the home screen in the right hand corner. Or uh, I can put a link in the description of the video as well. And one final thing is see how the trailer sprung back up after the load's off. And that Pinga has that on the Kozad trailers here, and it's pretty neat. And also on his um, Magnitude, uh, Lowboy does the same thing. But I really like that. That's a little authenticity there. Anyway, thanks for following along. Thanks so much for your subscriptions. And we've had a bunch of new folks in the last week. And uh, welcome. Um, appreciate you following along. Take care. And bye for now.